I'm ready to build a house. I just need some money. What do I do now? That's where a construction loan is going to come in handy. And today, we're going to go through the steps you need to know before you start constructing your home. So a construction loan from a bank does that. It helps you build a house. You go to the bank with the block of land, with some plans, with the builder's contract, and you say, hey, give me some money. The bank goes out, gets a valuation, and then says, yep, Nathan, here you go. I'm going to give you $500,000 and go to town. But then what happens once a construction loan's approved? Nathan? <laughs> Effectively, there's going to be separate stages to the build where the bank's going to release payments in arrears of what the builder's done. So well, explain the that problem. reason well, why they pay in arrears, so meaning that they wait for the work to be done, okay. then they make the payment, is to reduce risk on yourself in the sense that if the builder goes bust or goes broke or something happens, you haven't paid him for works that haven't been completed. So this is a good protection. It also allows you for the work to be done and before you give the nod to say yes, pay the payment to the bank, uh, to give the builder a chance to remedy works that might not be up to your standard or the bank's standard. Well, I think this is where I had a client a few years ago that got caught out by this. So the bank's they're trying to protect you, but they're not going to protect you fully. So once you sign that form saying, yep, pay the builder, the bank will pay the builder. You know, they might send a value out there, but generally speaking, not a full list of funds and pay the builder. So if you're not happy with the work that's done by the builder, you need to debate it at that point. You need to bring it up before you put that form into the bank because otherwise the money's gone and you're not going to see it again. So there's usually five stages to a build um, and they're broken up from the building contract in a percentage where the payments will be paid during the stage. So before the first uh, stage happens, usually the site will be cleared. You might pay an initial deposit. The bank isn't generally involved at this point. The first stage where we see most of the action happening is the slab or the base stage. So Jaden, what happens here? Tell me a bit about what to expect. And particularly if this is your first home, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. So like Nathan said, you know, that first stage, the slab's being poured down. The builder will go out there. They'll prep the site. They'll literally do that. They'll pour the concrete, put all the footings in there, finish that off, and then come to you and say, hey, I want 15 or 20% of the build price. Can you please pay it? And this is when you go to the bank and you ask for them to make that slab payment. So you'll sign the invoice, you'll send it to your broker or to your banker, and they'll arrange the payment on behalf of you through the bank. Now, another neat thing here is at this point, if you are expecting a first homeowner's grant, the bank will be reimbursed those funds from the Office of State Revenues, which you'll get your first homeowner's grant and it can be used yeah, at this point. 15 20 grand from the government, which is awesome. So Nathan, the next stage, so stage two in the progress payment schedule is the frame stage. So what happens here? As it suggests, the frame goes up. Once again, the works is completed before any payments are made. You, the person building the property with the, getting the finances, need to sign the invoice to give approval for that payment to be made by the bank. So you just want to make sure that all those external support structures are are up. You know, the property is where it should be. Um, maybe there's a hole for the windows there. There's all that stuff ready before the bank pays it because, like we said, they sometimes send a value out there, but not always. So it's really up to you to cover yourself that that work's been done. And one quick neat tip, there are businesses out there that will help you throughout the build and ensuring that the builder is being managed. So they're sort of like a management of sorts. That like a project manager. They're sort of like a project manager, but they more manage the builder and manage things. So you can sort of release it, you know, not be too stressed about the process. That's a couple of thousand dollars, I think, but check online. I'm sure there's heaps of them out there. Not bad. So stage number three or progress payment number three is lockup stage. So that's when the roof's gone on. The doors, what else happens there, Nathan? What should you look out for? Yeah, so at this stage, the bank will usually send a value route at this moment to make sure the property is at to spec. Mm. The windows um, are on, windows the doors are on, are on doors, the roof's sort of in. Stuff. You can literally lock up the house at this point. Now, this stage, uh, once again, as I said, it can take a little bit longer because the bank is sending a value route there. So be aware of that. Uh, and give yourself a little bit more time for that progress payment to be completed. So I guess the overarching thing here too, the builder's always going to be on your back. Usually a lot of the times, you know, they need payment within five to seven business days of the invoice coming out. Just work with your broker or your banker to try and get that done as quick as possible, but they just got to understand that it can't happen that quickly, unfortunately. The banks are just slow. It's just the reality of life. So number four, Nathan, is fit out. 
the fit out stage or fixing stage. So what happens here? Yeah, that's where all the internals are completed. So, you know, um, your kitchens, your bathroom, the lighting, all that fun completely, stuff. Yeah. So um, that's where all you'll see heaps of trades on site working like mad to get that sort of stuff done. the plaster, the gyp rock. It's almost looking like a normal home. You can feel like the rooms. It's looking awesome. You're almost there, but not quite there, which takes us to our last stage, which is stage number five, version, and it's practical completion. So this is the big one. This is where it all kind of comes together. What happens here and what are the, what's the steps? It's all the finishing touches that you'd expect. Painting, everything that has been left up until this point in time and not being completed is done at this point. This is usually where the bank will also send a valuer to make sure the property is up to spec and completed. What we always recommend at this point in time is get the bank to cut a bank check that you bring when you inspect the property and make sure it's up to standard and you can hand it off at that stage so you can collect the keys on the date. Um, it also keeps you in control because if there is any issues with the property whatsoever, you can hold off on making that payment and make sure it's completed to spec. And it can be little stuff. You go through usually with the builder and you look at defects. You can look at where they've you know had taken chips out of tiles or there's scratches on the walls or there's all problems. Unfortunately, at this point, Although you'd expect everything done, it might not necessarily be done and there could be problems with covers or taps could be leaking. This is when you can get the bill to sort it out because like Nathan said, once they're paid, there's usually a builder's warranty, but they're not going to be as keen to get it done quickly. So you've got to wait. So wrapping up, the building process can take weeks, months. It can take a fair while to get completed. But it's good to be aware of these different stages because like Nathan said before, if you're in power and you're in control, then you can make sure it gets done to the spec and the way you'd want it to be finished be prepared be ready and remember if you need anything feel free to hit us up at huntergalloway.com.au